So a couple of weeks back, I posted a video on how and why the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner of the Galaxy S10 Plus might cause damage to the screen indirectly. And well, there was quite a bit of bashing in the comment section. Some of you guys said I shouldn't have made that video without actually trying what I was explaining. So I went ahead and bought the phone. So let's clear all the doubts we had regarding the new ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwin Sundar. This is Technology Jock. Kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. A huge shout out to Vidlike app for sponsoring this video. Vidlike has some cool features like turning your photos into interesting short videos. Just select a template from a huge list of templates, select a picture from gallery, and tap next. Done. The resulting video is just awesome. You can directly share it to WhatsApp or TikTok. Another feature is reversing videos. Once again, just select a video from gallery, crop, and then tap reverse. Done. So get creative and make some cool videos. The app's link is in the description. Check it out. Back to the video. The thing is, Ultrasonic fingerprint scanners work by sending out high frequency sound waves, also known as ultrasound. They hit our finger, reflect and reach the scanner. And the tempered glasses we usually use, even if they're stuck to the display perfectly, there is a tiny, almost negligible gap between the tempered glass and the display, not visible to the naked eye. So ultrasonic fingerprint scanners don't work if we use a tempered glass. So this is what I said in the other video. And now it's time to prove it. Now, first off, when I took the Galaxy S10 Plus out of the box for the first time, there was this pre-applied sticker. And even on that one, there was a cutout near the fingerprint scanner. There is also a pre-applied screen protector on the display. Now guys, screen protectors or scratch guards are not an issue. They're extremely thin, 10 to 20 times thinner than a regular tempered glass. So the scanner works fine, no issues whatsoever. But then we all need tempered glasses on our phones. I'll tell you why later. So here I've got a couple of tempered glasses for some other phone actually, uh, but we don't need a perfect fit to test the fingerprint scanner. We just want to cover the fingerprint scanner area with the tempered glass. So this should do. As you can see, there is no air bubble in the fingerprint scanner region. I already have my fingerprint set up. So let's go ahead and test it out. Mm, nope, not working. Okay, let's try to set it up from scratch. Go to settings, biometrics and security, add fingerprint. Nope, doesn't work at all. Not even once. Okay, let me remove this and install another one and try again. This is actually the Galaxy S8 Plus's tempered glass with curved edges. Nope, same result unfortunately. Let's try again with another tempered glass. Well, still no luck. Now, another comment I saw from many people in the other video was, Hey Ashwin, it's got Gorilla Glass 6. Why would anybody need a tempered glass? Well, guys, Gorilla Glass 6 is an awesome technology. It can undergo a few drops from limited heights without getting cracked. But it is nowhere near how good a shatterproof display is or how good a Rhino Shield screen protector is. Hell, with Rhino Shield screen protector, you can drop your phone even from 15 or 20 feet height and the display will still be absolutely fine. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. So bottom line, Gorilla Glass 6 is not unbreakable. In fact, everything Apple Pro channel has already come up with the Galaxy S10 Plus drop test and the screen cracked when they dropped the phone from just 3 feet height. So guys, till now, if you have been relying on Gorilla Glass 4 or 5 or 6, Please don't. On a bad day, Gorilla Glass 6 probably won't save you. As for the Galaxy S10 Plus, yep, a regular tempered glass will obstruct the usage of the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. But there is this brand called Whitestone Dome, which has come up with a patented technology and their tempered glass doesn't affect the fingerprint scanner usage. But it costs $60, around 4,300 rupees. And worse, you don't get it in India. And guys, the installation involves a lot of patience. It takes about 20 or 30 minutes. It's a complex process. You can't install it like you install other tempered glasses. Even MKBHD didn't do it perfectly. There were too many air bubbles. 
In India, on Amazon.in, this brand called Value Active claims that the scanner works with their tempered glass on. I've pre-ordered it and I'll definitely try it out and let you guys know on Twitter. So make sure you follow me there. Now guys, ultrasonic fingerprint scanners are super expensive. And as of now, this is the only phone to have it. It's expensive because it's more secure than an optical fingerprint scanner, which is found on other phones from OnePlus, Huawei, Oppo and Vivo. Ultrasonic scanners also have a low error rate and they are faster as well. It's also possible to use a wet or a greasy finger to unlock. As you can see, my finger is quite wet and the scanner has no problem in detecting my fingerprint. So yeah, while there is a big limitation, as a technology, this is better. Let's just hope more brands come up with compatible tempered glasses for ultrasonic scanners because we are definitely going to see this scanner in more phones in future. So that's it. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Share it if you think people should know about this. Subscribe to Technology Jock for more videos like this. More importantly, hit the bell icon as well. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Ashwin Sundar and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.